Reminders are another feature in Evernote that a lot of people, frankly, don't use very much. That may be because its design isn't great, meaning, for instance, that you can't see a calendar of all of your reminders. You can't see a calendar view of when you have um, different notes set uh, to remind you or to, uh, to be done. But it still does have some decent functionality, and so I'll show you today how you can set reminders for specific notes and also how you can get emails of those reminders. So the first thing you wanna notice is that you've got this little clock right here on every note, and that's on your mobile as well as your desktop applications. So if you click on that, that's where you can choose if you mark it as done, that will remove it from the reminders, or you can change the date, or you can clear it and delete it as a so it's not a reminder at all. So we're gonna leave those as is, and you can see when you create these, that they show up in this little box right here. Now, I really like this note list view, which is right here, the side list view. You can also do the snippet view, and you'll see the reminders are at the top. I like to have the side list view because I can see the most information. So the reminders will be at the top, and a few options you have that a lot of you may not know. Click on this little settings icon, and you can sort them by date, and you can also have subscription settings. If you click on that, It'll open up a box and then you can choose to receive email reminders uh, the morning on days when notes are due. So you can use Evernote in that capacity to manage your tasks. Another quick tip is that you can add reminders right here in this reminders area. So you're basically going to create a brand new note. So this is example of note created in reminder area. You hit enter and now we've got a brand new note and it's put in the reminders area and let's see here it doesn't have a date at all as you can see uh, but we could add a date just by clicking here clicking here and say 10 a.m on let's go august 12th and once you click outside of this box now it's changed that date and we can then sort by date and it's going to put them in order closest to furthest out. So those are some quick tips on reminders. Again, the functionality, I think, is lacking in a lot of ways. But if you wanted to go all in and use Evernote's uh, reminders capability to keep track of when things are due, you certainly could. I think this is an area that Evernote's going to continue to improve on and make more robust and make it easier to implement with your other calendar programs.